Hi everyone, um, we wanted to send out uh, all the information that you need to know about the upcoming residential trip to Alton Castle. So the rationale of school residential visits is that the children learn life skills and educational skills outside of the classroom. At Alton Castle, the children will take part in a number of outdoor activity challenges, including hikes and trails in environments which are unfamiliar to them. During that time at Alton, they will develop their resilience and their problem solving skills, as well as developing their ability to work in a team. The trip also supports key citizenship and PSHE skills, such as decision making and independence. Uh, the children will be required to make their own beds and they will need to have the right equipment for whatever activity they're undertaking and they will need to be in the right place at the right time too. So it will be quite a challenge for some of them. So the journey to Alton Castle is about one and a half hours by coach. Um, the children are not allowed to eat or drink on the coach. Um, the coaches are used by other schools, so they tend to do a round trip um, and they haven't got time to clean the coach sort of in between journeys. It isn't a long journey, so the children should be absolutely fine and shouldn't really need anything. Um, they will eat lunch when they arrive, um, so they will need a packed lunch and drinks for this day only. Can you please, please make sure that there are no foods or snacks that contain nuts, please? So don't pack anything that has got nuts in. Um, all of the food will be provided for the duration of the trip. Um, the children don't need to wear a school uniform on the day that they leave, but they should wear comfy clothes like joggers or a pea kit, tracksuit, um, and they will need a jacket. Um, hopefully the weather will warm up for them, but you know, who knows? Um, after lunch, there's usually an activity plan for the afternoon, so they will need to be comfortable. Um, if your child suffers from travel sickness, please, please give them a tablet in plenty of time for the journey. So in plenty of time for it to be effective and to kick in. And tablets for the return journey should be put in a named packet or envelope, please, and handed into staff on Wednesday morning. Um, we do say that absolutely no mobile phones or ele electronic devices are to, um, to come with the children. They're absolutely not allowed. Um, the children can bring books or puzzles or magazines with them to keep them busy on the coach if they would like to. So on the morning that the children leave on Wednesday 25th of March, we ask them to be in the hall, please, um, for 8.45 a.m. We will register in the school hall, we'll gather in medicines and spending money and things and parents are welcome to stay um, to wave the children off when it's time. Uh, we normally gather after registration and have a prayer uh, before the children set off at about 9.15 a.m. Please remember to bring a packed lunch. Um, children arrive at Alton at around 10.30 so they'll have a little bit of time once they've um, put their bags down and stuff. Um, to have a little look around the centre, around the um, grounds, and then they'll have a lunch and then they'll have some activities in the afternoon. School will um, share that children have arrived safely. Um, and then they arrive back in school on Friday, 24th of March um, at around 3.45 p.m. approximately. And the staff will keep school updated about the ETA. So the staff members who are going, um, Mrs. Aldrich, Miss Patterson, Miss Ruff, Mr. Spencer and Mrs. Smith. So Alton Castle is a religious retreat, um, as well as the children taking part in outdoor activities and team building games. There will be daily prayer times and time for reflection. Uh, it's a time of spiritual enrichment for the children. The children will celebrate mass together on Thursday evening, followed by some entertainment. So um, they will need one smart outfit, please, one smart set of clothes. Uh, the children have all meals in the castle, so please inform us as soon as possible of any allergies or dietary requirements. There is a small gift shop at Alton which sells snacks and some gifts, so the children can bring some spending money but we recommend a maximum of £10 to spend. Um, there really isn't 
anywhere else for them to spend any money so they wouldn't need any more than 10 pounds and can you please make sure that this is in coins and um, because there may not be change in the shop um, and can you put this in a named purse or a wallet or an envelope and hand it to staff on the morning before the children depart um, and the children usually take part in three main activities which I will go into more detail on shortly so here are some of the activities that the children can take part in the bike ride is quite hefty it's an eight mile course so only confident riders will do this um, and then there's orienteering fire building shelter building climbing wall things like that uh, the activities are designed to challenge the children to safely take them out of their comfort zone and to encourage teamwork and resilience and all of those sort of life skills which are so important. Uh, Sacred Heart along with many of the schools have been taking children to Alton Castle for many many years. The staff there are fantastic, they're all CRB checked um, and have got lots of experience of leading activities. They are also fully first aid trained and the activities are fully risk assessed and any manage it, any risks are managed throughout the day. So in terms of medication, can you please ensure that all medication is given to staff before the departure on Wednesday morning with full instructions for how to administer the medicine? Um, there are medicine forms available in the school office, so you're welcome to collect those at any time to fill that in and to send it with the medication on the morning. Uh, children must not keep any medication on themselves at all except for their inhalers. Uh, as I mentioned before, please ensure that travel sickness tablets are given in the morning before departure and then any tablets for the return journey are given to staff. And school staff will take an emergency bottle of Calpol, which will be administered if needed, unless parents inform us otherwise. So money and calling home then. So as, order as I already mentioned, the children need no more than £10 maximum to spend. There's only one shop to spend it in and it may not be open every evening. Um, staff will not phone home unless there's a problem. So please enjoy the peace and quiet. Try not to worry. The children will be having a wonderful time uh, and no news is good news. School will update on Facebook about arrival and departure times, as I said. Um, and staff will endeavour to put pictures on social media, but please do not worry if there are photos on Facebook, but you cannot see your child. Um, we know this can be disappointing, but the signal is not always great at Alton. And the staff are always so busy ensuring that the children are having the best time that they haven't necessarily got time to be posting things on social media. Um, staff go voluntarily they are giving up their evenings and their family time to take the children away to build wonderful memories um, and so posting on social media after a long busy day is not always a priority although we try our absolute best to do so so packing list um, please uh, send a sleeping bag and a pillow these are essential items and my advice is to send more than you think that they're going to need because the outdoor outdoor activities can be messy. Um, can you please also send a bin bag too so that the children can bring their lovely, dirty, smelly washing home in for you? Um, always a joy. Pack light layers in case it rains uh, and trainers that you are happy for the children to get muddy, so not your best designer ones. Um, and as I said before, please send some smart clothes for the mass and for the evening entertainment. Behaviour and expectations then. So Alton Castle is a school with responsibilities, rewards and sanctions. And just like at school, we will expect the highest standards of behaviour of our children. Um, even though we're not in school, our golden rules will apply. And we know that your children will make us extremely proud. Um, lastly, we hope that they have the best time, that they have lots of fun making new memories and that they surprise themselves with what they achieve. Um, hopefully this has answered any questions that you may have, but obviously if there's anything that we haven't touched on, then please get in touch with us um, either via the office or by a phone call.
Okay, I hope that's okay for you. Thanks, bye.